Today, every year in the summer, we have an annual field day and uh, share all the latest developments that the researchers have been working on over the year uh, to really get that tech transfer, that knowledge transfer out to the farms. One of our stops at today's field day is one looking at research into macrofomina, one of our important soil borne diseases that we're trying to manage. And one of the ways of managing that we think is through mitigating temperature and moisture in the, in the bed, in the soil. So one way of doing that is when we're looking at comparing black plastic versus white plastic and three drip lines versus two drip lines. And what we're showing is when you have adequate moisture and when you have a cooler bed, you get less disease. Another stop is looking at uh, cover cropping as a way of suppressing that same disease, macrofomina root rot and uh, Dr. Hewa Vitharana is looking at wheat as a cover crop to mitigating that uh, disease. And we have some interesting results here. It's, it's just beginning, so we'll have other results in future years. UVC is ultraviolet light in the spectrum that is lethal to uh, insect, arthropod pests, as well as to fungi. And so we're looking at that for powdery mildew, but we're also looking at it for some of the arthropod pests and our entomology team has been doing some work and they're gonna present on the effectiveness of UVC against arthropod pests. Plastic mulch is a really important part of our production system in California for strawberries. Most strawberries are grown on a plastic mulch. It keeps the fruit clean. It helps weed control. It's, it, it has tremendous benefits in many ways, but we're also concerned about the amount of plastic used in the environment. So we're looking at biodegradable mulches and one of the stops at today's field day is with Sita Sisla, who is investigating the, uh, the pros and cons of using biodegradable mulch in strawberry production. The current punch for plastic, it makes a hole in the plastic for the plants. Uh, that hole is too small, most growers feel, and so we wanna make a cross hole so that it opens up that hole a little bit, makes for greater water penetration, makes for greater stand establishment, makes for better use of water, so it has many beneficial effects. And one of the things on display here today is the cross hole punch that our automation team has developed. Harvest automation in strawberries has been a topic for at least 10 years. Uh, they've been developing robotic harvesting machines. We have one of those companies here, Advanced Farm, showcasing their technology. It's really interesting to see how far it's come. We're, we're, I think we're not there yet, but we're making tremendous strides in automated harvesting. And so people get a, to see this machine up close, uh, how it works in the field. It, it's an outstanding, very interesting and innovative technology. Yeah.